I see that you do. And we love to say, oh, let me run to the doctor. Not necessarily y'all, but people do. Let me run to the doctor and let me get something to fix it. Well, doctor, I know it's an infection. You insist on an antibiotic and then we want to dog the doctors because they give out antibiotics like the dang Halloween candy. That's what you wanted. They're just trying to, you know, stay in business, shuffle people through us. I mean, they're customers. You know, give the customer what they want and the customer's always right. I tell you, you're not right and you're wrong. Because anybody wants to take a good look at what's really going on. And what I'm going to lovingly suggest is that we need to monitor and nurture all the spokes and fix and manage all the spokes on the wheel. Are your wheels wobbly? And that ain't a smooth ride. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe you like lopping it you know, for a while, but that gets old. It really does. Nobody wants a rough ride for long. No, you don't. So, I was thinking about something, and I have a little regimen here that I thought I would like to share with you. <clears throat> now, years ago, you all realize, and this is not about me, it's about you, so pay attention. So, years ago, I used to have a long list of autoimmune disorders. I could sit here and write them off to you. I have that on my, my um, website. It's a small little five-minute video talking about that. But that's really not the point. Because it didn't matter what it was. Because every time I go to the doctor, it'd be like playing whack-a-mole with my health, you know? I want to give you this medicine, something else pops up. Gives it. Why? Because you didn't really fix the problem. No, you didn't. You know? Until it was like, well, Tanya, you're going to be on pretty much um, prednisone and methotrexate the rest of your life. Well, I knew some people that were on that kind of drugs. And when I would go to file their nails, because I was a manicurist, I was a nail artist extraordinaire, okay? That's two different things. And I was also like your best friend listener at the bar, you know, like the bartender, manicurist, the listening ear artist. Anyway, so that's what I was. And I have people that have it, were on that stuff. And you'd go to file their nails and their, and their skin, you better not hit their skin with a file because it would slit open people that had lupus, people that had all these different things dying, and in fact, dead now, and dead many years ago. Well, let me just point this out. That's been almost 20 years ago now that that was going on. I'd be dead. Yes, I would, but I'm not dead, and I'm not dying. I'm thriving, and when these little things pop up their, their ugly head, like um, I'll get a stress response, or and it will mimic one of the many things I had before. I can be thankful for a little while on that because it reminds me where I've come from. But that gets old too. And I have had that going on last week and trickling now into this week until today. And it was doing this earlier. Because I had what was a family crisis. It's a crisis and it's still going on. It could always be worse. And I'll tell you what, I can sit back and think of the gratitude in that situation because it's this and it could have been this. And this happened, but that could have happened. And, and it's like this now and it could get worse, but right now it's this. The point is, it could always get worse having gratitude and trying to manage the spokes on your wheel and mainly the stress spoke, you know? So what has happened is it's caused me to have this it's like an autoimmune reaction. It's like an inflammatory response is what it is. And my whole body will feel like bees have stung me all over. It's, it's inflammation where I feel like all of a sudden, one hour later, you can't get your clothes on. And that's not even the problem. It's when the clothes touch you, it hurts, right? The clothes are your enemy. And so are anybody running up to hug you, thinking they're going to anything. Just please. And it's, it's disheartening because you do all the things. But are you managing the stress? Are you managing to really set up your boundaries in accordance to your truths? And are you simultaneously monitoring the borders? I Meaning don't let people cross that. And if they do, you need to, to have an overhaul of what's going on. You know what I mean? So let's say whatever it is that rise these things up in your body maybe you are in a situation which i used to be for many years for five years once i started trying to get healthy five years did it take me to where i could come up and devise a plan of my own because nobody had to answer and stick to it five years not five days five weeks or five months 
five years. So friend, if you are tripping your way to success, guess what? You're tripping your way to success. You are slipping your way to success. And people that say, oh, there's no like slippery slope and no, there's, there's not if you know how to pick yourself up. But it takes a long time to get to that now, doesn't it? So anyway, and one thing that's true for you may not be true for another. This little sideline alley I'm fixing to go down. But somebody might think, oh, you know, there's no sense in, in food combining. That, that's, that's uh, you know, pseudoscience. Well, it definitely applies in my life now, and it certainly did before, you know. Oh, you can't be addicted to foods. You can't. Can you be addicted to chemicals? How about the dope down effect that the foods that are comfort foods that are comforting you out of your conscious state of thinking because you can't think about it anymore, you can be addicted to that. How about addicted to escapism? So maybe what's true for you isn't true for somebody else. So don't knock it till you live it. You know what I mean? So anyway, back to the regimen. First of all, do you love this is Moonstone and what did Cardi call that lavender? I can't remember what she called it. Look at these. These are the bestest. I, <laughs> I had to make Carly earlier and give her something. And we had a photo shoot out in front of Michael's. And I was like, you have to give me a minute. I'm like still having inflammation. And it was like a cutie picture. And anyway, she gave me these earrings. But um, so there's just a lot going on. And whatever it is, maybe you have eaten what you you did not intend to eat and you didn't eat the things you intended to eat you know because you got that thing called human nature and um maybe you've done the wrong thing you i don't know what you were doing at a red's barn grill last night but you were and now you're having remorse you all these things you don't feel good is the thing you've got inflammation you've got arthritic joints you've got bags under your eyes your skin looks sallow and saggy and crepey all these different things you could have a headache you could have um, a runny nose your glands could be thrown whatever do y'all have these kind of thing okay so let's say you do or let's say you do sometimes and it's gonna come on you again because it does here's something you can do these are some regimens that I have implemented over the years it's kind of some tonic slash juices slash teas and you can kind of switch this around, but I like it in the order I'm fixing to tell you. And it's a lot of things I've used over the years all combined into one bomb anti-inflammatory day. And yesterday, I did this regimen, and now today, and now today, it is, I think it's 2.13, and I am feeling better. But every day, let me point this out too, not sitting down and laying down and just rolling over and wallowing in your self-pity of feeling bad. Take that as a self a healing opportunity, a health crisis, a health opportunity is what it is, right? Because when I used to be sick all the time, I would only start feeling better through the day when it would kind of dissipate over the day after I was moving around, moving the lymphatic system by walking, doing all these things. Um, whether I would try to get on my rebounder and basically bounce on my hiney because that's the, that's the most I could do, you know? Or um, just going to school, doing my job, doing the things. And, and trying to act like, basically fake it till you make it. Act like I felt okay on that day when I really didn't. And that really helped, you know? So anyway, um, we have to go in angles too. But not feel sorry for yourself that just makes it worse you know what I mean it just makes it worse then your emotions are even more strung out than they were trying to see the situation in two ways okay as it is like you want to take responsibility for the situation you know let's see where I can see you good can I see you good here yes I can so I really can't and yesterday when I had a great what I thought was a great chit chat it totally blanked out because the phone got too hot and if I pull over there it might be better because this looks like it might get hot we'll see so anyway what was I saying oh yes seeing it as it is but not worse than it is not saying stuff like I'm gonna feel like this my whole life I have no willpower 
I'm never going to heal. I'm trying to heal, but you know, they're probably right. I'm going to die trying. Yeah, you might. With that attitude, you are really, nobody hears that stronger and a more solid way than you do, right? Um, let me move over here because I don't want it to drop my video. So anyway, taking action, seeing things as they are, but not worse than they are, you know, taking personal responsibility and getting on with your day. What do y'all think? So here's some things you can do. Now, all of these things are kind of rolled into one day. There are some things that you can do um, every day that I also do, but, and some of these things are going to be, um, there's some extended explanation on it, which I'll get to in a minute, but let's get to the main thing. Spit it out, Tanya. So, in the morning, you're gonna get up. First of all, you're gonna be trying to deep breathe all day, breathing in and exhaling out fully. And you are going to, this is a little mind trick, but you're gonna think about breathing in the white pure newness and blowing out the black smoke that feels like it's filling your whole body, right? You are going to have some of your music that you like playing. You are going to not focus on the news. You need no more negativity. You need to focus on your health right now, you know? And you're like, well, that's great. I got six kids. I know. Do your best, okay? So anyway, start with that. How's your attitude? Having in your journal, starting out your day by doing your stats up there, you're going to write down what all, and don't say like, um, maybe you have swell, which in my case means, were you swollen? Are my guts distended where I can't even button my pants? Though yesterday they were falling down past my hip bones. Are, are you like swelling? Can you not open your eyes? Are you having to ice your eyes open? I want you to look at me. Yesterday morning, I had to ice my eyes open. Look at them now. This works, okay? Now, I'm telling you that and I, I'm... I always feel reluctant to say stuff like that because then people, not reluctant, but what I want to make sure you understand is that I don't want you to say, oh, well, that raw vegan diet doesn't work. You're wrong for me because it's healed me and I, I will never abandon the very thing that heals me and regenerates me stronger every year. But we live in the regular world. Do you bring regular toxic air in South Carolina? I do. How about the water? I hope you're using a distiller. How about people around you that's improper planning in their life causes an emergency in your dang day? How about that? How about your job? People don't understand you. People aren't accommodating you in your life. Shocking. All these things. You live in the regular world, right? So these tools are something that can really, really assist you, okay? So, y'all liking this? So anyway, um, like a couple of years ago, I got, uh, it was January, a year and a half ago. And Christopher was still living at home then, um, that time, and, you know, he kind of moves in and out. But anyway, he was at home. And he had gotten the flu, and he had had it for like, I want to think it was seven or eight days. Because I was starting to think in my mind, that's right, I'm not getting that at all. And I have been like, don't call phone made, and my, and my reset was fixing to start. I was like, I cannot get sick, okay? These people, we're starting a new year. There ain't no time for this, okay? And I got that flu. And he still had it the whole time I had it, which guess how many days was? Three days. Three. I had a high fever. I had all these things, and I implemented this flu buster, flu bomb drink. And I came on YouTube and Instagram and blabbed all about it. Because guess what? We're all humans. And I eventually picked that up. But I think the takeaway is, look how long that my body resisted that. I used to live in disease. Dis-ease. Okay? So, and then I was over it before he had even come through it. I was like, been there, done that. Do you want to wear my t-shirt? You know, which he wasn't amused by. But anyway... So, meanwhile, he was trying to take all the things to repress the symptoms. I'm trying to, like, blow those out. Don't recycle snot. 
I'm talking about, and get all that out, cleansing, detoxifying, regenerating. Okay, with the flu busted bomb, flu bomb drink, and I have that on my um, YouTube. But anyway, back to this. So my point is, when I'm telling you this, I'm telling you yesterday that my eyes, and they were a little bit like that this morning, because that kind of thing were like up and down, up and down till it's moving on through. So anyway, put ice packs on my eyes. And here's the thing, every day I've got a reset running now, and I'm discussing with them what I'm doing for this, and showing up in honesty and truth, and guess what? On my A game, because I show up. Show up in your life, and, and might I lovingly suggest, stop making excuses. Do it while you go through it. So, let's say you get up in the morning, and you are going to have a lemon ginger water okay and you're gonna have it warm now maybe you normally have celery juice maybe you normally have just here's what I'm doing you can kind of move these around if you want it but I really like this for flushing okay this is like a day or two is it gonna be under your calorie norm yeah it is so you're not gonna start to death no you're not um, Typically, I find, too, if I under-eat any days, then the next few days after that, my appetite's a little bit higher, and I will tend to eat a little bit more, and it kind of equals out, you know. So, anyway, um, lemon ginger water, about 32 ounces. So, you're going to take, say, about um, 29 or 30 ounces of warm water. You want to squeeze a whole lemon, or you could peel a lemon, flick the seeds out. You could blend it up. Then you want to put some ginger in there. You want to have about, you could blend, which means you, you're going to peel the barkish off the root, the root exterior, the root skin, off your ginger, and you want to blend that up. You blend it up. You could put a little bit of cayenne in there, but depending on what kind of inflammatory response you have, that may irritate you. So let's don't do that, okay? But you could later on. So anyway, you're going to have that. You're going to bring that in, okay? You can have the pulp or not have the pulp take your pick your poison here's another thing you can do you may be thinking I don't have time to do that here's what you can do let's say you want to have lemon ginger cubes in your fridge ready to go I have a video on this called lemon ginger cubes okay um, so let's say you have six lemons you're gonna peel those you're gonna slice them flick out the seeds put them in your blender then you want to have say six inches of ginger Put enough water to get it to blend. So let's say you're using those giant um, BPA free, they're kind of like flexi, they might be silicone, but they're they're non-toxic, make sure they're non-toxic. Um, ice cube trays, they're large. So then you're gonna pour those in and let's say you've got 12 cubes going. So you'll know for one lemon, you would need two cubes, right? Because you had six lemons. And so you're getting a lemon and an inch of ginger. And you can have a little bit more ginger if you want. But that's an easy way to keep those handy in your freezer. So what you want to do is you want to freeze those. Then you want to pop them and crack them out. And then you want to put them in a Ziploc freezer bag. Those are BPA free. And put them in there. Then they're ready for you. So all you got to do, you get up in the morning and you're stumbling to the bathroom. And you go in there and you turn on your hot water kettle. And then you come in there. You let it cool down some, not boiling. Okay, you pour it in your your cup you put in your two cubes you're ready to go you stir you're sipping you're moving on with your day you're already getting this inflammation off you get off me I'm not dealing with you today that's what you're doing that's your attitude your, your attitude is like inflammation I don't think so okay so anyway then a little while are y'all liking this a little while later you're gonna have a cranberry detox drink all right there's a lot of ways you can do this but I like it's like a cranberry turmeric detox drink so Again, you're going to have a 32 ounce jar of liquid. You're like, well, that's a lot. Yes, you're flushing this out of your system. Flush it out. Are you going to need to pee pee? Yes, you are. Make accommodations, okay? I mean, if you're working at school and you need to go pee pee and they don't want to let you, line those kids up in the hall, tell them there's a prize, give them a, a pencil that's, I don't know. Give them a shiny pencil for somebody. Let somebody be the line leader. Let them have an extra two minutes recess where y'all gonna walk around. You're seeing who can skip best, whatever. Give them a prize so you can go in there and TT, right? So, I mean, what? If they don't wanna let you do that. Well, what if you had diarrhea? They'd let you go, right? <laughs> so anyway, what are you 
you care if they think you're crazy? Good. People, when they think you're crazy, they tend to, to let you alone, you know? So, you got your cranberry detox drinks. You're going to have a 32-ounce jar. Again, we want the warm water. You got the warm water. Then in there, you've got one scoop, which is about a tablespoon, of turmeric or turmeric, however you want to say it. Then, I like the Feel Good brand from Costco because it already has the pepperine in there, which is like it's a component in black cracked pepper that helps you uptake and assimilate the curcuma, which is in the turmeric slash turmeric. So, you're going to have one tablespoon of that. If you don't have the black pepper, what you need to do is just crack some, just you want it fresh cracked, okay? Don't burn your, you just want a little bit, okay? You want the warm water because that also helps. Then, you've got that in the bottom of your jar. You pour on your hot water and then, what else I have in there? Yes, you have a little bit of the ginger, all right? You could either have um, blended that, you could have a little ginger juice, which I usually have, which is another whole side thing. But anyway, put you some, blend, some ginger in there, about an inch, however you want to make it. Then, I want you to put some cranberry detox drink in there. Now, how you make that is, cranberries are a grand diuretic that will help pull fluid and inflammation. They're great for reducing inflammation. So. I have some videos on that, but for this one, what you want to do, there is a cranberry juice you can get. It is not raw because it is pasteurized, but it's by Lakewood. Um, you, I, I reluctantly say that to you because there's a lot of cranberry. Those things aren't, aren't juice. First of all, they're fructose corn syrup. You got to look for one that says 100% cranberry juice only. On the back, it says organic cranberries juiced, okay? Anyway, what you would do is you would take about two ounces of that and put it into your 32 ounce jar, which, which would be about 29 ounces. You want to get a little stir room, okay? You got your turmeric, you've got your cran juice in your water, okay? You got your ginger. What else do I have in there? That's all I had in there. You want the warm water. Now, you need your black pepper if you didn't have that. Here's another thing I typically take fresh cranberries you might not be able to get those but if you get them too you can freeze them and what you can do is you can blend with some water and strain and then you have a cran water if you do that you want to add about twice as much of the cran water because after all it's watered down it's cran water so everybody got that frozen organic cranberries and blend it that's a brilliant idea i've not done that but it's a great idea because sometimes you can't get cranberries anyway so there you go it's a big deal so you got that you're drinking it down and you're moving on with your day. A little bit later, you're gonna have green juice. What's gonna be there? Oh good, I'm gonna have pineapple and orange. I'm gonna have one sprig of, of spinach. No, we're detoxing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to have, the base is going to be half cucumber and half celery, okay? This is gonna help give you some sodium in your diet. Again, a very water rich, flushing it out. Potassium, magnesium, Everything you need, nothing you don't. You have got, um, you've got half and half. Depends on what kind of juicer you've got. Uh, you could blend and strain. I would rather see juice, but anyway, that's not the point. Get it in. You're gonna make about a 32 ounce jar of juice. That's gonna be your base, okay? You could just use celery and you could just use cucumber, but I like half and half on that. So anyway, you got that. Then you've got a handful, not eight ounces, a handful of dandelion greens. Okay, this is going to purge your liver, help cleanse your kidneys too. Anyway, it's a great detox, also diuretic. Why am I saying that? Because you're holding inflammation, a lot of times you're holding water. So anyway, you're going to put in a handful of dandelion greens. You're also going to put in a handful of parsley. You can use curly parsley, Italian parsley, flat leaf parsley, organic parsley, right? You want to wash these greens off with a little vinegar and baking soda wash, okay? Regular vinegar or apple cider vinegar, and you want to rinse them good, okay? Um, you want to rinse them in pure water, not South Carolina sink water. So then you're going to have that. What else do we have in there? We had some lemon. We had a whole lemon going in there. And again, we had some ginger. Are you all picking this up? All right, you got a green drink. That is very filling. It's energizing, all right, balancing. You're like, well, that's usually the time I have Pop-Tarts. We're not having Pop-Tarts today. We're detoxing.
Pop tarts are causing you problems. Those aren't your friends. Okay? So then, guess what? Later on in the day, you've already have a gallon of liquid funneling in your body. Flushing out. All right? You can have additional water in between two if you want. But then, we're going to have some hot teas. Okay? So, I would lovingly suggest hibiscus tea that flushes that out. And I like dandelion root tea. Or dandelion root. You could blend. You could put it in there like kind of like it would be like a chicory type coffee. But anyway, hibiscus tea. And I also think if you um, don't love the taste of that, get you the Craving Crusher tea by um, Spice and Herb Exchange. And that's got peppermint, licorice, and hibiscus. Then you're going to add in the dandelion root tea, okay? You could also drink three ginger tea. You could drink peppermint tea. Fennel tea. All those. But this main one. Have your tea. And during the day, I would suggest first thing in the morning and then in the evening. I want you to do two enemas. I know you've never done one. Listen, it's not like you have hung a gourd outside on the tree and you're in the front yard. It's not that big of a deal. You get a hot water bottle. You fill it up with pure water, okay? You don't even have to lay on the floor or all that mess. No. You hang it up on your shower uh, head, all right? And then you bend over and you put the end in your hiney. And you, it's not, don't be scared. It's not that far, okay? It's not a big deal. If you're like, well, that's, okay, put you some coconut oil on there. It's not a big deal. Okay, it's like think about what comes out of your honey sometimes. This is like the size of a pencil It's not a problem like don't be a baby. So anyway, you're gonna do that and you're gonna let the water flow in You're gonna be bent over to the front. Okay, and you're gonna like push you're gonna go in a clock in a um, Clockwise manner and you're gonna push and then you're gonna feel some like hard areas and you're gonna push on that a little bit more You're leaned over you're pushing. Okay, you could even be on your left side Whatever. I don't like to lay on the bathroom floor. But anyway, that's what you do. Then, you go over to the potty. You don't need to leave that water in you a long time. You're like, oh, okay, I'm trying to wash dishes and do... No. Then you go over to the potty. You've got your squatty potty, meaning you're going to put your feet up on that so that there is no kink in your colon, intestines, none of that. So we can get a <laughs> clean flush of these toxins, a clean sweep. You know what I'm saying? You could be having a migraine. You could be having the worst dang hangover in your life and you do an enema and you'd feel better. Yes, you would, but you won't do it. So you're gonna hurt and that's your own fault. So you've decided to do it. You're like a squatty potty. What is that? It's a potty stool. Okay, and if you don't have that, you bring you, your family likes to have um, Lux uh, refried beans and you have to buy this family size, you know? Are, are, you, are you buy the, the like, daycare size pork and beans you know those cans so you bring those in there and you put them and you put your feet on each one of those like you're gonna make steals but don't walk like don't tie them on you just put your feet on there so you elevate right you don't have to spend a lot of money you just need two large cans of pork and beans and people are gonna be like you like pork and beans you're like i like a clean flush but you ain't gonna say that you're like girl i know i like some pork and beans you know so anyway then if you need to do it again do it again the next day your inflammation is gonna be down. You can tilt your trash can, yes you can. You can take the bottom of, um, you've got like the slotted drawer caddy, you turn that thing upside down. People think, oh, you, well, you just don't have that much stuff, that bottom drawer is always empty. You're thinking, that's my potty stool. <laughs> anyway, so, then you're gonna get on with your day. After that, the kitchen's closed. It's like, oh, I did a great job. Let me have banana ice cream with, you know, some, or, or oh, I can have a piece of it. No. What do y'all think? Kids' step stools work good, Renata. Yes, they do. What do y'all think? Is anybody excited about this? I should, I should write this down, and I should post it for all to see. I should post it up, and I should post a picture of my feet on pork and bean cans, because that's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. I'm not kidding. I Even earlier, it takes a little while. It might take two days. It probably won't, though. I'm just telling you. Look, this inflammation, it's like if I do that, I, it's like I want to pass out. But not now. Do my eyes look swollen to you? No, they don't. 
post it up. What do y'all think? With the pork and bean cans. <sighs> then I have to give those to charity. And then, like, I'll think, well, I poisoned somebody with pork and beans. Poisoned by pork and beans. You don't want that on your tombstone, you know? What do y'all think? So... Oh, dang, I forgot one, too. Look at this. Before your hot tea, let's see. We had the lemon um, ginger water in the morning. Then we had the cran detox with turmeric, all right, and ginger, ginger and lemon. Then we had um, the green juice, all right. Okay, then before we had the hot tea, you could have an, another. You could either do one of those again, or you could do a green powder drink, because this is really easy. This is the time your rugrats get home from school. You don't have time to fool with this. So what you want to do is you could take like, I'm talking about green powder like um, wheatgrass juice powder, not wheatgrass powder. That's not the same thing. Wheatgrass juice powder, okay? About two teaspoons and a 32 ounce jar of water, okay? Uh, Remineralize you, give you a little energy, a little boost, a little clarity, a little zing to your afternoon, okay? You could do barley grass juice powder. You could do um, Marcus Rothkrantz green powder. That stuff's on fire, okay? I normally don't like yell out people's products because then something will happen. I'll be like, oh, I promoted that. And now they're like corrupt. Marcus ain't corrupt. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, that didn't go well. Anyway, let's think about that. Um, you could do... There's many of those. I should get a list of the ones I like, but then again, then something might happen. So, you see what I'm saying? You could have that there. You could also have another green juice right there if you want, which I said, I forgot to tell you about the green powder in case you don't want to fool with it, right? You could also make two green juices earlier. And if you're gonna do that, green juices, I have a video on what types of juicers where I really, really simplify the fact of like, single auger masticating juicers which are grinding juicers versus like centrifugal which is slinging your produce in little bitty knives um, at, at high rates which kind of heats the juice up but if you're going to drink it that minute and that's the one you have that's the one you're going to use right or blending and straining or that type of thing but if you're going to save juice for later first of all i would lovingly suggest you have a masticating juicer which means it's like a large drill, okay? Now, some of them, like you've seen me use my Huron, that is a vertical juicer. And it has a smaller footprint um, on the counter. So instead of having a long, it's fat, but it's long. You know what I'm saying? So it's still good. That is, is an auger that's usually for horizontal. These vertical, there's also another one called the vert. They have like fat. They look more like a ball, but they're like they're they're still like like a drill, but they're fat and round. This sounds like a dirty conversation. I know that's what you're thinking, Renata. <laughs> Stop it. So anyway, it's the auger, and it's gonna grind. Okay, it's gonna take your produce and squeeze it and squeeze out the juice and leave you some dry pulp. Which, by the way, if you're doing celery in there. Celery. Some greens don't make a good cracker. They're too bitter, but celery does. And I have some no-fat celery crackers on my YouTube channel, on my playlist called Dehydrator Series, okay? It's actually called Dehydrated Series, and I wanted it to say Dehydrator, but now I don't know how to change it. So there you go. So it's high-tech around these parts. So you make up the juice. And if you have, yeah, presses the produce. So if you have a single auger, that juice, they claim it lasts up to 72 hours. Well, okay, maybe. I like to drink mine within 24 hours because, I, I mean, what's the point of trying to get all the nutrients if you're losing the nutrients, you know? I mean, I'm not saying you should just have like a Gatorade, but I'm just saying you want all the nutrients. So anyway, you, you store that in a jar, okay? You don't ever want to put a green juice that's really like a very alkalizing thing and something that's got toxins like the BPA because that's going to pull those out. You'd also never want to put distilled water in that, okay? Because it's known to pull toxins out and then you're going to drink those. That's a problem. So anyway, 
you're going, Maritza, hello, beautiful. So, you're going to store that, and you want to put it in a jar, cap it up, and it, even if you need to add a little water, you want it to have almost no air in there, so it doesn't oxidize, okay? There's also these things called a vacuum seal. Yes, you can get them at Bed Bath and Beyond and online, I'm sure, but vacuum craft. You put the juice in there, and then you have this little tool. Okay, and it sucks out the air, and then it is it is air free in there. It really is, huh? So there you go. Um, so that's what you could do. If you're using a centrifugal, which is a fast slinging, then what you want to do is you want to drink that right then. Yes, you do. So, um, my mom sometimes drinks celery juice, and I meant to mention to her the other day. I've said this to her before, but um, health isn't her hobby, really. So sometimes it's like, ah, eh, you know, and she doesn't really. Uh, Anyway, I saw two jars of celery juice in her refrigerator, and I know that she has a centrifugal juicer. I know because I know how much she wanted to pay, and I helped her get it. I picked it out for her. So anyway, and she didn't want to take up much room, and you know, all this. So, she could have got the good one. I mean, she has the dollars. If you're going to do it, do it, right? So anyway, but, but she has that one. But I noticed that the jars were only about half full, and also... There was two in there, and this was later in the day, which tells me there's almost no nutrients left in that. Now, are you getting, you know, some sodium and some, yeah, you're getting some things, but you want to get max nutrients, you know what I mean? When you blend and strain, you should drink it right away, and you should also blend the lowest amount. Also, add the least water you need to, and then you can use um, a nut milk bag. And you can get a pretty decent juice like that, but you, you don't want to blend any more than you need to because you're not trying to heat the juice up because you're losing nutrients, right? And that's the point. But then again, you don't have to think, well, you know, I don't have, uh, I don't have these juicers. Okay, well, use the ones you have. Blend and strain for now, you know? So there you go. And I just wanted to come to you while I jotted this down a minute ago. And um, it, it's like that kind of inflammation, or you know this in your own life, whatever that thing that rears its ugly head, it's like you're Jekyll and Hyde. It's like you're two different people, you know? Yeah, you should drink it right away. My vert, 15 years old, clogs up so much with celery. Verts are notorious for clogging up like that with celery. I do love a vert. But my Huron, um, vertical Huron, which by the way is like a $400 juicer that I, in fact, got off Craigslist for 30 bucks. She wanted something like 45 It might have been 50 And I was like, well, it's kind of rainy out. Would you take 30 She's like, sure, come get it. It's <laughs> like, okay, I'll be right there. I went like, what? <laughs> anyway, it was a rainy night at 10 o'clock at night. And Ellie and I went all the way to Taylor's, South Carolina, which is 40 minutes away to get it. Yes, we did. It was a dangerous trek, but it was worth it. Okay? Would you go raw with no juicer and blender? Yes, and I did. I didn't have a blender or a juicer when I started. You know what you need? Some teeth. That's what you need. You don't need a dehydrator. You don't need a high-speed blender. You don't need a juicer. It's helpful. But if you need to get a $10 uh, blender from down there at Dollar General, then do it. You know? It'll be a little chunkier than you want it, but you'll get used to it. got to do what you got to do for the Huron. That's right. I also like the Omega 8000 series. The um, Nutritional Center, which one looks like a puppy dog, I like it best. It juices um, greens and celery really good. I think it's max juice for minimum money for the masticator. I really do. Easy to clean up. Less parts. It's got a big chute. Now, the J8006, um, I also like but it's got a, one additional part. It is a, a smaller chute. Um, I just feel like the Nutritional Center, uh, maybe I'll put, it, I'll put up here the, the link to the one that I really like. 
or maybe I won't, but anyway, you know the one that looks like a puppy dog. And I really like it. Um, yeah, I've been completely raw vegan for 13 years, left that raw vegan, and I've been whole food plant-based for 18, which is the five years prior to, prior to the 13, you know? Um, so there you go. Um, Sarah, I have some playlists on my YouTube that are what I eat in a day. And some of those are smoothies. Now, if it's a smoothie, and you can kind of mimic one of those what I eat in a day. And maybe, um, are you at your optimum weight, Sarah? This is very tricky for me to try to throw out any pinpoint information like this because I don't know anything about you except your name and your lovely picture. But, um... You can mimic one of those, and you can less the calories or other calories, but you can kind of see how you do it. And the thing is, if it's a smoothie, you could take the, okay, you, how tall are you, Sarah? And do you want to tell us your weight? Um, anyway, you, you could chew those. You can make the fruit and the greens that you would have made into a green smoothie into a, a fruit salad, you know, fruit on a salad. And then you can make a dressing at night. If you don't have a blender, you could take those components. You can make a little bottom of the bowl dressing. I have many videos on that, bottom of the bowl dressing. I have some videos on like um, stretch the fat. You're, you're five feet, you're five four. The microgreens get your microgreens on if you can't stomach as many greens as I eat and consume and you would like to do that and get the benefits drop down the amount and up your microgreens dainty sprouts like broccoli sprouts I'm saying that not lent not like lentil sprouts or garbanzo bean sprouts black bean sprouts azuki bean those don't combine well with fruit you're gonna have a stomach problem Unless you're a person that doesn't believe in food combining because it doesn't bother you. But, okay, it does a lot of people. No, no. Lick, licky. So, anyway, we don't do that in our family. You don't lick the seat cushion where other people sat, okay? My dad used to call that a clod hopper. Except he said it's when other people go around smelling the bicycle seats that people just got off of. And then he had another name for people that poot in the bathtub. <laughs> and bite the bubbles, okay? Say that with a straight face. You couldn't give me a call? You were too busy? What were you doing? <laughs> Pooting in the bathtub and biting the bubbles? That's why you couldn't answer the phone? That's why you had it on, that's why it went right to voicemail? Are you looking for any bicycle seats? Anyway, so let's say. <laughs> let's say you're going to do the microgreens. Look for the ones that are like the lacy type, like you got uh, in, in the sprouts. Let's say you got alfalfa sprouts, broccoli sprouts, clover sprouts, right? Fenugreek sprouts, zesty mix sprouts, sprouts, dainty looking lacy sprouts. Then if you're doing microgreens, you're talking about sunflower greens, um, mung bean greens. Those are still like, see, now we're into the greens. This is, this is the most nutrient dense food on the planet. Okay. Thus the reason wheatgrass juice and wheatgrass juice powder in water are so good for you. Max nutrients in that, and from the time it sprouted into the, the baby plant, Okay, before it gets its first true leaves, it's where the magic of life happens, right there. And it is the thing you could do. Ellie, I said no. All the tank sprouts. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. And may you get your detox day on. May you do this, and people don't understand you. They're not supposed to. 
Why do you want to go around explaining this to people? And why are you trying to convert everybody in the world? People that really want your help, they will kind of like hold on to the back of your shoe. Like, like you got to, you keep on feeling something like you got a shoe horn stuck in there. You know what those are? When you were a kid and you got a Buster Brown and they stuck that thing in you're like, what are you doing? Can we go your foot in? You know, they want to measure you. Always trying to make me think my feet are bigger than they are. They do that at REI. I'm like, I don't, that's not the size I wear. She's like, do you want blisters when you're hiking? I'm like, I don't know. Why do you want me to buy an 11? That, look, my feet are big enough. Like, I don't need any help. Okay? People will actually seek you out. You don't have to hunt them down. Because those people, they don't give a dang what you're saying. You're wasting your breath. You're wasting your energy and your vital force that you could be using for healing and regenerating. That therefore, you're so regenerated, all you got to do is stand up and your light, it's so bright, it's undeniable. So people either want to know because they want to do different, or they'll ignore it because they want to hit the easy button. And they don't want to do different. And that ain't none of your business, okay? Let them be. It is exhausting. It is absolutely exhausting. But I'll tell you what, these earrings, do you all see these? Look, can we get a good look? Look, it's a third eye. <laughs> That's how if you can tell if your face is symmetrical. I know my nose is crooked. But luckily, this is kind of curved over to the bottom, so I can... <laughs> these might be one of a kind. I don't know. Cardi's taking a gigantic road trip, and her Etsy shop's going to be closed for a little bit. And Griffin was in the background saying, No, don't close your shop, Mom. Mommy, don't close your shop. Do you know that when the little kid of Love and Light was at my house and he was going to take a bath at my cottage, I thought the bathtubs were bad at, at my house of Love and Light, which could be going under contract, but don't be excited. It's only because I was out on the side of the road saying, somebody, could you take it for free, please? Could you rob me of this house? <laughs> Just take it. Stop the bleeding. Anyway. The tubs were bad over there because they're old porcelain tubs that like nobody's cared. But mine at the, at the house I'm in, it's even worse. And I was going to put Griffin in the back. I'm like, come on, I got the toys. I had all the Debbie Meyer green boxes for boats, you know. I had all the things. I had things to put in there. Look, I have toys. Everything's a toy to me. Like, you, you can you have fun about them, almost anything. So, anyway, we had that. And he was like, um, Granny, were you? Look. And I was like, What? I said, well, the boats are right here. I'm th thinking he's thinking there's no toys in there. And um, I was like, what? And he said, look in there. I said, I don't see anything. He said, are you going to clean the tub before I get in? I'm like, it is clean. It, that's, that is clean. <laughs> I was thinking, kid, you play in the river. Don't be cracking on Granny's tub. <laughs> So I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if these are gettable or not. If these are purchasable, you want them, don't you? I feel like we could all wear our triangle earrings, and you could send me a picture of yourself over on the DMs, slide into the DMs, and um, then I could do like a collage screenshot of us all wearing our earrings, and I could post it up. Huh? Like we're a club. Like we're a triangle ear. Then we're the triangle club. What do y'all think? Anyway, I love y'all. Hope you have a great day. Hope you get your detox on. I hope you say to yourself, inflammation? I don't think so today. I just don't think so. Be in charge of yourself. I eat raw gladly on a budget. Hey, Becky. It's so much easier than purchasing a bunch of dead carcasses. Next major goal is going shopping at resale clothes shops. Mudge, what's your first name? I think I was. I looking at your Instagram the other day. I know how you are. Now I can't think. Y'all don't think I can decipher all the code names. Like I'm code name Tanny. You know, I never get any compliments on jewelry until I have on Cardi's pieces. And I always, people always notice, especially, well, not even especially, but her necklaces, too. 
Mara, that's right. Hello. <laughs> People that want your help, they'll be like latching on to it and you won't even mind because they're like, yeah, let's do the thing, right?